I tell you a secret. It's easier to get your license in the winter time. I said it's easier to get your license in the winter time. Hi, this is Smart Driver, Rick with Smart Drive Test, talking to you today about passing your driver's test in the winter time. Yes, I know it's intimidating because there's ice and snow on the roadways, but it's going to be easier to get a test date because all the Freedy cats are staying at home waiting for the warm weather and the summer to come. Uh, in some places, that's like six months off. <laughs> so do your driver's test in the winter time. You'll get a test date, and it's actually easier than it is in the summertime because it's less exact. Because driving examiners know that you're focusing on keeping the car between the shoulders of the road, not in the ditch. First thing you need to do, make sure you clean the car off completely. You may need to get up a bit earlier if there was some snow because you know you got mean parents and they're gonna make you shovel out the driveway before you take off for your driver's test. So do that. Make sure that you do a pre-trip inspection on your vehicle. I'll put a card up in the corner for you on a pre-trip inspection checklist that you can get over at the Smart Drive Test website. As well, make sure that you have good windshield wipers on the vehicle. You have washer fluid topped up. Winter washer fluid. Don't put summer washer fluid in in the winter time. You could do damage to your vehicle. As well, make sure you know how to turn on the defrost and know how to turn on the windshield wipers so that you can keep the glass clear while you're driving in the winter time. The farther you get away from main roads, the more snow there's going to be on the roadway. And the reason I say it's easier in the winter time is because you don't have to stop at stop lines before the sidewalk and where the two roads meet at controlled intersections in the winter time. You simply have to stop before the sidewalk because all the painted lines on the road, you can't see them. So here, for example, I can kind of see the painted line, but not really. So I'm just going to stop before the stop line here and then you treat it as a yield after you come to a complete stop at the correct stopping position. There's no time for the amount of time you stop, but rather you bring the vehicle to a complete stop. And then we proceed. And you can see it's slushy today. The temperature is around zero, but it's still snowfall warning. Be careful when the temperature is around freezing, 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius, because it's going to be more slippery than when it's sub-zero temperatures. So again, there's no lines here. Stop before the sidewalk, complete stop. Creep up until I can see and yield to all other road users. There's a car coming here. I bet you they're turning. Nope, they weren't. And we proceed after the vehicle. Shoulder checking left. And again, stopping at the stop line. We can actually see the stop line here. You can see the, the some of the roads here are fairly well cleared. Wait for the vehicle. And people doing left-hand turns are gonna cut the corner off. That's why I'm not moving up here on this left-hand turn. So as soon as they come around the corner, you saw they cut the corner off there. I just have to treat it as a yield. I don't have to do another stop. When you get the vehicle going, get the vehicle up to speed as quickly as possible. So 30 miles an hour for those of you in the States, and here in Canada it's gonna be 50 kilometers an hour. If you're in the state of New York, it's gonna be 25 miles an hour in the city limits unless otherwise posted. Mirror signal shoulder check. Stop before the stop, before the sidewalk. Move up, because I can't see. Yield to all other people, all other road users, and then proceed. And as you can see, most of the time when you take your driving test in the wintertime, it's going to be like this. I mean, unless you live in North Dakota or Minnesota or Wyoming or places like that, uh, you may be dealing with hard pack. But if you're dealing with hard pack in those types of winter conditions, your vehicle is going to be fitted with good winter tires. You're going to have a block heater on your vehicle. You're going to be prepared for those conditions. And I would suggest you either take a four-wheel drive or a front-wheel drive vehicle for the purposes of your driver's test in the wintertime. For a complete in-depth video on taking your driver's test in the winter time, click the card up in the corner there. Here we're slowing down back from where we actually want to stop. We check the roundabout, there's nobody there, and we proceed straight through. We don't have to signal because we're going straight through. We can signal to exit on a roundabout. So when you're coming up to an intersection in the winter time, slow down back from the intersection and then creep up to the intersection that way you're actually going to get stopped because the other place 
on the roadway in the winter time that's going to be slippery is going to be intersections because the cars come up, they brake, and they slide on the snow and they compact it and cause it to melt a little bit. It's like a Zamboni after it floods the uh, ice on the ice hockey rink. It's the most slippery after the Zamboni goes because there's a layer of water on top of the ice. Intersections are like that, so they're going to be slippery. So slow down back from the intersection and then creep up to where you actually want to stop and you're going to get stopped in the winter time. If there is a lot of snow in the winter time, you get a great deal of snow, there's, there's most likely that they're going to cancel the test. They will not take you out if, there's, if it's snowing in blizzard-like conditions. They just won't. So they will reschedule you. Scanning the intersection, moving straight in, shoulder checking, and immediately as we, soon as we come around, now here, this is a perfect example. We come around on a left-hand turn, we're not going to move to the right because I can see the merge sign up there. So I'm not going to move right and then merge back. And again, I always keep, so I can see the tires of the vehicle in front of me making clear contact with the pavement at all times in a road test or driver's test getting the vehicle up to speed as quickly as possible. Now the glass is beginning to fog up a little bit here, so I'll turn my defrost on. And I'm maintaining my two to three second following distance. And as well, I got some person here not sure what they're doing. And they did the right thing. They stopped there and then the other traffic just moved around them. And you can see I keep my two to three second following distance here. And the way that we measure that, when the car goes past the hazard obstruction sign there, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. And remember, two to three second following distance for the purposes of a driver's test in any other time is under ideal conditions. So as conditions, road conditions deteriorate there, you had a merge traffic uh, moving over and those types of things, road conditions are deteriorating. And so here we have two turning lanes to the left and there aren't any overhead signs, but I know that because I live here. And if there's two turning lanes to the left, you want to be in the right-hand lane to turn left. That way when you get around the corner, you're going to be in the right-hand lane for the purposes of your driver's test. Shoulder checking again, and we're in the spaces between the vehicles in the next lane. Okay, and it's 50 kilometers an hour here. I can see the sign right there, which is 30 miles an hour. And we right on 30 kilometers, or 50 kilometers an hour rather, 30 miles, yeah, 30 miles an hour. Uh, there's a trouble there. And that's all it is. And most of the time it's gonna be like this. It's gonna be just wet roads. They're gonna be well cleared. So do your driver's test in the winter time. Make sure you can turn on the windshield wipers. Make sure you can turn on the defrost. To subscribe, click here. For another video, click here. And remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now. And that vehicle right there, <laughs> do not show up for your driver's test with snow all over your vehicle like that. You will be denied your driver's test.